Alrighty, so we have a construction update out of Great Adventure, Six Flags Great Adventure for Jersey Devil coming in 2020. Um, so this is a coaster that's kind of moved along in construction rapidly, a lot more rapidly than I was expecting. Uh, so a lot of the footers or footings are done for Jersey Devil already. They still have a lot more to go, but for a Six Flags coaster, this is going pretty well. This is going actually a lot better than I was even expecting. So maybe they'll have like an early summer opening compared to West Coast Racers, which looks like it's going to have like a mid-December um, opening. But nonetheless, so the footings for the transfer track, the turnaround after the mid-course break run, the dive loop, um, airtime hill, the drop out of the uh, mid-course break run, and um, those footers or footings are completely done. And they're working on digging for lift hill footers, the drop, final break run, and the 180 degree stall, um, and the first major turnaround. So those footings are being dug out um, currently, and the ones I listed before are actually poured and complete. There is no sign of track being um, made, shipped, transferred, held um, anywhere in the area. But nonetheless, I expect track to be um, being made by RMC, and it's probably either being held off-site or it hasn't shipped yet um, and enthusiasts just haven't been able to spot it quite yet because with footings kind of like if I were to take a guess on when footings could be done I, I would say sometime January mid-January the all the footings to the coaster could be done and that's like absolute latest with how they're working the footings could be completely done by the beginning of January um, to be honest but nonetheless it's looking awesome I recognize a lot of stuff from the Yukon Striker uh, construction updates so I can tell where footings are going to go, where electrical is going, um, and uh, all that stuff. So this is truly exciting for all you great adventure fans out there. There's a lot of rebar cages for more um, cages for the concrete for the footings. Um, but nonetheless, not too much else is going on. No signs of theming or extra elements or buildings being built in the area yet. But uh, again, this is really good news for Six Flags construction projects because Six Flags does have the reputation of having construction projects um, a little bit delayed um, or starting a lot later. And this is, yes, it started later than what Cedar Fair would typically start, but it is moving along very nicely for a Six Flags Park. And also, if you want pretty rapid or um, overuse of rapid, if you want pretty constant construction updates, go follow Six Flags Great Adventure on Instagram. They do a lot of updates and they've been keeping everyone really up to date on Jersey Devil. I have to commend them on that. It's been truly awesome. Um, and I'm sure uh, Inside Great Adventure, um, uh, Eastern, who's on our team, will have some pretty su exciting stuff coming up as well. So that's truly exciting. So we look forward to that. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this construction update. There will be more coming, obviously, from Inside Great Adventure. So go follow him on Instagram as well, Inside GADV. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for some more awesome updates to come. Enjoy Holiday in the Park. And uh Go in person and get your own glimpse at Jersey Devil. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.